Hello everyone, this is Mr. Crazy and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you how to make um, a vein miner tool that um, has some toggleable options. As you can see here, we have our procedure set. It is quite a few procedures here. It's actually 11 mod elements, but you don't actually, um, the vein miner pickaxe is actually optional. So you have about 10 mod elements here. And this is basically how, um, this is basically going to mine it. So I'm going to quickly showcase this off in the game. So this was actually a lot harder to make than the regular tutorials I do because it requires so many procedures. Um, you have to have a procedure for every single ore that you want to make. So I'm going to be actually going to be making it in a brand new workspace so I can show you how to set it up from scratch. Um, you will need Ampere 2020.5 because it works. Um, it just works the best. So here we have um, our testing world. I can just get my new pickaxe, the Vein Miner pickaxe. And then get our blocks here. So it mines every single ore. I'm just going to be testing out these three ores right here. And we really just get a full stack of them. There we go. And I'm going to go into game mode survival so I can show these off. So as you can see here, if I place the ores and I mine it regularly, it does not activate. But if I shift and I break it, it, um, it destroys all these blocks. And currently, it only destroys blocks that are adjacent to it. Meaning that it won't destroy blocks that are diagonal to it. Which is if I shift and I destroy these ones, it will not work, but if I do this, this also should not work. Um, yeah, that, that does not work. Um, for some reason, I'm not exactly sure, but you can destroy that, like that. And then this should work. Yes, it does. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work from the bottom. It's probably just me being an absolute noob at coding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, that is the same with all the other ores as well. And also, it is toggleable, as I said, and it works with every single ore. Um, that one did not work at all. Oh, I said it was a shifting. Um, let's see. Yeah, as you see there, it does not destroy that work for some reason. Um, but it works pretty well in a in a regular natural situation. And as I said, it works for every single ore. So you can get gold here, shift, and mine all three of the ores. And yes, this does work with huge amounts of ores. Let's just say that you can fill in a massive area. I don't have to fill in a massive area. I don't want to do the commands right now, but if, like, let's just say that your friend had a base with all ores, you could destroy it in this one, this one mine, and it only requires one durability. Um, so it is pretty overpowered, but you can definitely manage that, as you see there. Um, not too laggy, really. I'm getting, like, 219 FPS. If I just place down some more blocks here, and I mine it. Whoops. You can see there, there's actually no frame drop. Um, with 10 ore. So yeah, I'll be showing you how to make this. So here we are in a brand new workspace. So now let's start with the first, probably most important thing, which is the global variable. Oh, it's actually not a global variable. Well, actually, it is a global variable. So we have to go to variables tab right here and we hit new variable. We're going to be calling this um, like a uh, vein, vein minor toggle, my school toggle. There we go. And we're actually going to make this number because that seems to work the best for me and also player persistent because we don't want it. Um, so that, well, I guess you can really change this to either play, player persistent or player lifetime. I'll be keeping it player persistent because it works better with what we're doing. Um, but you can really use either one. Um, but yeah, now make sure that the initial value is zero. We're going to go to mod elements. So we're going to go to um, procedures. And we're going to make a brand new procedure. This right here is going to be called vein minor toggler. A nice little toggle. Toggle, oh, there you go. And then now um, we're going to be going to flow control. Yes, we're going to be going to flow control. And we're going to be going to entity data. And then we are going to get the is player sneaking. And then we're going to go to custom variables. We get the set vein miner toggle to and get that. And we're going to set it to one. Whoops. Just one, and we're gonna copy this, do, or actually duplicate it. Get the logic not block, and then set it to zero. So it resets, and we're gonna be going to no additional trigger. We're gonna be clicking on that, and we're gonna be selecting um, on player tick update. So there we go. Now we have our variable in place. So now it's actually time for all the complicated procedure work. Uh, for some reason, this is. That, oh, I have no idea what happened there. Um, okay, so now what we have to do is we're gonna go into procedure. And then I'm just going to be making this vein minor coal. I'm actually going to split my screen here so I can see the procedure on the other side. So first we're going to be wanting to get the 
on the if block. There we go. And then we'll be going to the get block. So now we actually know what we're going to be doing. Um, we're actually, we actually have to get the this block right here. The equal block for the blocks. And we have to get the block um, for the get block. And then we have to get the procedure block for the block input. And we'll be selecting cool for this. So there we go, we just drag down to our if statement right there. Now we're actually going to be breaking the blocks. We're going to be getting block procedures and we're getting remove block at XYZ, drop at XYZ. So we're going to really hit save now and we're going to go back to our block right here. Not our block, our procedure. We're going to advance and we're going to go to call procedure vein minor toggler at XYZ or at XYZ. So there we go, and now we actually have to change up the coordinates now. And this is um, the more complex thing. So we're gonna go to math, we're gonna be getting the number, we're setting this to one, and also you have to get the um, math logic block right there. Now we're gonna get our x, and we're actually gonna be taking all the x coordinates out of here, and we're just gonna be copying this. There we go, and now we have to fill this in also for the also for the minus x, so we're we'll doing that just like this, setting that's all to minus, and then we are actually we have to change this to vein runner cool actually, um, and then we have to go to the if copy this again, and now we're gonna be resetting this now, we're getting the x not y, oh, there we go, and then duplicate that again, and then we're going to want to get back our block here. I'm going to change this up for y. Duplicate that. And I'm going to get rid of all our y. And then we're going to get, um, so we just have a copy of these now. Just like that. And then we'll copy this again. And just continue to do this. Make sure it's in the exact same position as mine or else it will probably break and cause a lot of things to just not be good and we're doing the same thing for Z. So we're just going to be resetting these to Y. Copy that. And we're taking out all these Z blocks. And also you don't actually have to worry about the drop at XYZ um, because that will just drop at the same location of where it, um, is where it spawns. So I don't know why I have the Y block right there. To copy this. Drag that there, and then duplicate this one final time, and then change these to minus. And there we go, we have our first procedure here, and now we can actually do the same for all the other ones, except I'm not, because I already have the workspace right here with all the other ones. So just, um, so all you have to do is just double click on these and change them to each of the ores. For redstone, though, it's going to be a bit more complicated because you're going to have to actually add in the redstone ore and the redstone ore lit. Well, you can easily do that by going to the logic, getting this block right here, going to and, whoops, and, and then you just want to be duplicating this entire segment, and then getting redstone, and then duplicating this, just like that, and you're going to be getting redstone ore lit, and then you're going to be replacing these for each of these blocks right here. But since I'm not going to be doing the redstone, I'm only going to be doing the coal, we don't need that. Um, but if you are making it so that it works with every single ore, make sure you do that as well. So now that we have that procedure, we're going to be making the coal procedure for that. So we're going to be doing this as the vein minor coal. And now we're actually going to be testing for the variables. So we're going to go to if, custom variables, get minor toggle. We're going to be getting this right here, the math logic block, as well as the... Um, number we're gonna be changing we're not changing we're gonna be getting that and actually this is not good we don't want to get the um math number logic block we want the math equals logic block under logic and then there we go so now what we have to do is we're gonna be testing for the block at that location which you just broke so it's it's pretty complicated not gonna lie oh, fine okay um we're gonna be getting the get block xyz i'm getting the logic just like this, go to Minecraft components, get the same block, and then I'm going to be getting the coal block since that is the only procedure we actually have on here. I'm putting that right there, and now we're going to be doing um, advanced, 
call procedure, call. And then there we go. Now we have everything that works. But now we actually need something that mines it. So we can just make a new tool, or you can also assign it to a regular tool by going to the minor call, and then by going to flow control, having the if, and we're going to, um, actually we have to do player tick update now. Let's see, on player tick update. So this is if you want to have like a specific tool in hand already that's already in the video in the game. So you're going to be going to if um, entity data, yes. I'm going to Minecraft components, we're getting the red input block, we're going to logic, and we're going to get the item, the one that's red here, and we'll be changing this to, I don't know, maybe diamond pickaxe. I just want to make it exclusive to the gold pickaxe. No, diamond pickaxe since it can mine everything. Or, of course, you can make your own um, pickaxe, and I'll be showing you how to do that as well. And then there we go. Now, let's just say you want to make your own custom pickaxe. I'm just going to do this. Um, I'm going to spell it correctly. Vein miner um, pickaxe call. What we have to do is just take away this part and then make it so that there is no additional trigger. And then now we can make our tool, which will be the vein miner pickaxe, just like that. And we'll just create a really bad texture here by just using the templates. Uh, there we go. Actually, we'll just make a custom pickaxe here. That looks horrible. Let's do it. Um, vein miner pickaxe, we'll just create our texture. And then now we can just choose the texture right there. And I'm actually gonna make this um, three for the harvest level, so we can actually mine everything. And there we go. We have to go back to our pickaxe now. Go to triggers and go to when block for the tool. Vein miner pickaxe call. So now everything should hopefully be working. And again, this right here um, is if you have a diamond pickaxe in your hand. Um, so you don't actually have to do this procedure if you don't want to. You can just have the vein miner pickaxe. We actually have to have something so we can actually activate it. So now I'll see you in the game. So actually, I made a mistake. Actually, I just realized. Um, we want to actually want to uh, cancel that. We're going to go to vein miner call now, and instead of player take update, we're going to be going to um, a block is broken because we actually have to test for the block whenever it's broken. So yeah, there we go. I also actually got this as a suggestion. Um, so if you actually have any suggestions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below because I will try as hard as I can to do that procedure or that mod idea that you have. And also um, some news regarding. Um, the next update of my mod, Immortal Adventure, if you if you are if you did download it or if you are interested, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Next update will be hopefully out by 2021. Um, it is hard to develop three dimensions at once. Um, so here we are in our game. I don't know why I have such bad, horrible graphic settings. Uh, I plan on how to find um, maximum. There we go. Hopefully this is a bit more bearable now. Um, so there we go, we can now get our tool here, we'll also get our regular diamond pickaxe, we'll get our blocks, actually we, have, we can only choose coal, now I'll just go into slash game mode, survival, and now this should hopefully maybe work, so if we, regular, so if we just it regularly, nothing's gonna happen, if we shift, it's gonna break, same thing with a diamond pickaxe, if we break it, nothing's gonna happen, if we shift, it will break. So yeah, and also what you can do is if you actually want it to be on um, with every single tool, you can go to the vein miner call, and you can go to logic, go to here, get the ore, and then just get every single pickaxe in the game. Um, you can just go to um, external input so it isn't as cluttered. We can just select every single pickaxe in the entire game, and now everything should work. So yeah. That is the end of the tutorial. If you're my channel, it will be greatly appreciated if you were to subscribe. Um, we have gotten so much support recently, and I thank you guys so much for that. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye, guys.